Hey guys, it's Tori here, and today is the day that I finally filmed and uploaded my most requested video, which is my brow routine. So don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. So first off, I'm going to take a spoolie, and you can get these for like 99 cents at Sally's Beauty Supply. They come in like packs of them. So what I first like to do is just brush my hair out, and I guess I should say that I get my eyebrows waxed like once every like two months, I would say. So I get them waxed at the Benefit Brow Bars. Um, I've always had a really good experience there. The only thing is I blister after I go get them done. Um, but that's just because I have really sensitive skin on my eyelids. I only get it under here. So first I'm going to just comb up my brow hairs. I will pull my hair back. So I comb them up. And now I'm gonna go in and cut them down because when they're really like, when the eyebrow hair is really long, it makes your eyebrows look different. So, what I like to do is comb them up like this. I always cut them before I tweeze them. So, I put them all up and I start from the front. And I normally have like normal little scissors. These are like curved ones, so I've never used these. So, let's hope nothing goes wrong. So, I'm just going to spoolie that up. I have to get really close to my mirror for this. Um, all right, how should I do this? And then I just cut the hairs that are too long, and there you have it. So now that's nice and short again, and then for this part, I don't like to comb this part up because then I'm gonna cut way too much out on the tail. So what I do is just comb it out. I kind of let that be, but if I see any hairs that are a little bit too long, we'll just give them a little, little snip. Then I'm going to do the same on this side. I guess I should also mention that I normally do my eyebrows after I do my face makeup, but I'm filming a tutorial today, so I just decided that I should do this first. Okay, so I'm going to comb that up and cut that. And that's that with the cutting. I don't like to go too insane over the edge, you know, this little a little clean up here and there and then I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and it's sometimes easier to see what needs tweezing when you fill in your eyebrows like if nothing um, goes in like if there's any hairs outside the shape of your eyebrows that's when it's easiest to tweeze so I'm gonna go in and tweeze them this is like really hard to do without being like super close to my mirror so hang on let's try this and I tweeze like once a day just to Keep it all maintained. That's the trick of like not having to go get your eyebrows waxed is if you just keep it maintained yourself because it's really, really easy to do. Oh wow, this one needs a lot. Oh, Lord almighty. I'm always really careful when it comes to tweezing because I never want to over tweeze. Like if something ever looks way too thin, I just stop tweezing altogether. Um, and I'm really sensitive under my eyes, like I said, so I do get a little bit red. In between my eyebrows is never really much of an issue for me. Um, I always get little hairs like up in here, but I keep them there because I want it to grow in more. Um, it creates more of like an ombre, um, what am I trying to say? Like a gradient effect and I really, and I do like that a lot. So now that they're maintained, I'm ready to go, you know, fill them in. So first off, I take this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. It's the number 12, and it has a slanted side on one side and the spoolie on the other. Fun fact, I used to use this angled brush, but I actually stopped using it um, just because it got too like thick. A lot of times with the product that I use, it gets really thick, um, and then it doesn't work as well. So I switched over to this brush, but now this one's getting thick, so I think I'm going to use this one today. This one is like the exact same thing. It's just by Coastal Sense. It came in a brush set and I really ended up liking it, but I think I'm gonna use this one today just cause it's all cleaned off now. So what I do is I take this spoolie. You can use this spoolie. I don't know why I use this one, I just do. I think I like this one a little bit more cause it's a little bit more dense. Um, so I just brush my hair out to the shape that I want it. And everyone has a favorite eyebrow, no shame. This one's my favorite, it just has more of an arch. It just looks better in my opinion. And you can like notice sometimes when you were like cutting your eyebrows, if you have like a sparse area or if you cut too much, um, you can just fill that in right there. It's just always been a sparse area of mine, I've just always had it. So first what I use is this Anastasia um, Dip Brow and this is in the shade Soft Brown. So what I do is I take the product on my brush, obviously, 
and then I wipe it off on the edges because I don't want too much on the brush. And then what I do is I outline my entire brow and I was taught by my friend um, who's a makeup artist. Um, she told me to always do it in just one stroke. Um, do I think I always do that? No, I sometimes do it in multiple strokes, but trying to outline in just one stroke, it really makes the brows look better in my opinion. So let's see if I can do that today. I need a different mirror because I can't see out of my big mirror with my camera at this angle. So I start at the front. Yep, I'm already doing more than one stroke. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to follow the natural outline of my brow. That sucked. Wow. Of course I mess up during a brow routine. What is this? Okay, so then I take a little bit more. We're going to clean that up with um, concealer so it doesn't really matter if you mess up. Um, I'm going to take a little bit more and then I'm going to go at the very top of my arch and bring it down to the tail like that. And then, once this hair goes out of my face, I'm then just gonna outline the top in small strokes to meet up with that, because I want that to be a soft arch. I don't want it to be heavy. Go back in with my spoolie, blend that together, and then I'm just going to lightly fill in my tail. And then I'm just gonna slowly bring it to the front. Like that. Now what I used to do was just use the dip brow for my entire eyebrow, but what it started doing was looking really blocky. Um, so what I started doing is switching to shadow for the front because it looks a lot softer. So once I'm about like, I guess I'd say where like when I'm looking straight, where I don't know what it's called, the color of my eye, maybe the cornea, I don't even know. Where that like stops or starts, I guess, is where I stop with the dip brow. So I want to start at the front. And outline. That one looks better. Normally I hate this eyebrow, but you know what? I just did that one better. And I'm going to go to the And then with this one, I have a little sparse area right there, so I just go over that top and fill that in. With small strokes that resemble hair, so you don't want to go like that. What hair has, like what eyebrows have hairs that are that long? You want to do nice small little strokes. Alright, back to business. Take this brush, wipe it off on a tissue because it will get built up, will get gunky, and it will not work the same okay trust me it just won't i'm then going to take a brow powder for the front of my brows and this is the sigma brow powder in the shade medium i take the lighter shade now if i were to only use powder i'd mix the two shades for the outer brow but then the front of the brow i always use a lighter shade so i'm going to take the same brush take the lighter shade tap that off get out my handy dandy here and what I'm going to do is make small strokes connecting from where I have the dip brow to the front of my brow, going in a vertical little lines like this. I'm not going like sideways anymore, vertical, because the hair grows vertical right there. You see me? All right, so kind of slant it right there and then bring it up. Make it look nice and natural. I'm gonna go underneath and I see a hair that I need to tweeze and make that vertical and then you have like a gradient effect and it's not so blocky if I were to use it with just the dip brow it'd be pretty blocky now I'm taking my spoolie brushing the front hairs up and then these down and out now I'm gonna take the eyeshadow not the eyeshadow the brow shade again and do the same on this eye. Slant it and then up. This eyebrow grows on a slant, like there isn't really front hair right there, so it's kind of weird. But you just kind of, you know, you gotta do your best. And 
And then there's always gonna be that line from the dip wrap, so I just take the front of the spoolie and blend it up so it's nice and soft. You do that before you even put the shadow in. And then when I do this every morning, it doesn't take me this long. It takes me about five minutes. Like brows definitely take the longest part of my day. Not my day, my makeup routine. But it's just because they're so important. Now I'm gonna go outline them. So this is my Studio Gear concealer. You can use any concealer. If you use like Paint or the Paint Pot, for example, um, to prime your eyes, you can use that. Seriously, whatever concealer. I just prefer potted ones for um, under my brows, just so I don't have to like, you know, squirt it out on my hand and then have excess. So, I just take this, don't need as much as I just took, you know, I just took more when I said that. And then what I'm gonna do is go right underneath my brow. Yep, I took a lot, whatever. And clean it up. Now I don't like to really go on top of my brow, but because I don't like the whole like outline right there, I just like to go from like the tail down very lightly just to define the tail even more. And then I go a little bit in the front, but not too much because then it makes it a little bit too blocky. I haven't ever tried the e.l.f. brow set like gel thing but I know that a lot of people really really like it a girl that I used to work with she has the strongest brow game that I know and she uses that and it's awesome so if you don't want to get the Anastasia one definitely try out the elf one that underline though okay so like I said right now it looks a little bit weird because I don't have any other face makeup on but I also don't go in and set my eyebrows because the dip brow seriously sets everything in place all day like there's seriously no need to set them because they are not going anywhere but this is my finished brow let me finish off the rest of my face and i'll talk to you guys in a second so thanks so much for watching i really hope that you guys all enjoyed this video pretty simple process only takes a couple of minutes in the morning but it is an important process let me tell you so before you guys leave, don't forget to subscribe because I upload two videos a week on Thursdays and Sundays and I also, you know, have social media which is all linked down below as, as long. <laughs> Yeah. I have social media also which is linked down below along with other important information in the description box so be sure to check all that stuff out and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!